it's Jay and I'm here with a review of Gail Foreman's I Was Here. I gave the book a 3.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. Like always, I'm going to give a quick synopsis of the book and then I will talk about characters and what I did and didn't like about the book and then my overall thoughts. So without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> Cody has recently lost her best friend Meg, who committed suicide by drinking a bottle of industrial cleaner in a motel room. When Meg's parents ask Cody to go collect her things from her college dorm room, Cody discovers these secrets that she didn't know about Meg and she discovers that she was actually hiding a lot from her and she doesn't quite know her best friend as much as she thought she did. So Cody becomes obsessed with finding out what really happened to her best friend and why she committed suicide. I loved Cody as a main character. She was so relatable and you instantly connected with her. I found it incredibly heartbreaking that she blamed herself for Meg's suicide because it's nobody's fault. It was just really upsetting to read about, but it's so, so good. Her emotions were very real and raw, and I really liked reading about her. I liked Ben, but he also like really annoyed me. He was very charming, he was your typical YA love interest, but he got on my nerves at times, like really easily. I loved Scotty who is Meg's 10 year old little brother. He was so insightful for being 10 and he was just really cute and funny and I really enjoyed his character. The book was beautifully written. The emotions were so raw and real. The ending was kind of a bit anticlimactic for me. I kind of expected more out of it and there was a lot of loose ends that I thought should have been tied up better. I just, the ending, why? I just didn't like it that much. I thought it could be a lot more interesting. The book reads like a murder mystery and you have to keep reading because you want to know what actually happened to Meg and what you find out is just so sickening that people actually do that. It just, it gives me shivers. I don't understand how anybody could do the things that the people did. You read the book, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the love really pissed me off. I don't understand why. Cody would go for Ben because like your best friend just committed suicide and she really liked this guy and then you're like oh you know I can't stop thinking about him he's perfect oh my god but I hate him at the same time but I can't stop thinking about him because the boys are cool. They're like a girl code about this like <laughs> I mean you can't date your best friend's lover especially if she just committed suicide I don't maybe it's just me I just I don't know, it was weird. But I still really liked how Gail was able to put an emotional death into the relationship, even though I didn't like the relationship. It was still really nice to read. Overall, I didn't hate the book, but I didn't love the book. It was just kind of mediocre to me. I thought the writing was beautiful and the emotions were so well written. I thought the story was very powerful and it deals with a lot of difficult topics like suicide and anxiety and depression and friendship and family and all those things and I thought that Gail Foreman did an excellent job with the writing style for the topic that she chose. I thought the character development was really well done. I felt that the dynamic of the relationships weren't really your typical YA dynamics. It was more unique and I really liked Trisha and Cody together. Trisha is Cody's mom and I just felt like their relationship really developed throughout the whole book to be something really beautiful even though you kind of hate Trisha at the beginning but by the end you love her and I just really liked them together. I feel like the self-discovery in the book was really well written. You were really able to put yourself into the characters shoes and they were all very relatable characters. I found the aspect of Cody putting herself in Meg's shoes about how she would commit suicide and what aspects she would do in order to commit her suicide and it was just kind of like if I was going to commit suicide what would I do and just reading about that was really interesting it's just really interesting to read about because it gets you thinking like what if I committed suicide what would happen what would people say like would anybody miss me that kind of thing like how would I do it it was just really thought-provoking and kind of scary at the same time because it, it would be so easy. I don't know, it really gets you thinking. The book really digs into the impact that suicide can have on the people that the person leaves behind. If you read the book, read the author's note because it is 
so good. It's like the inspiration that Gail used in order to write the book and it talks about how if you're suicidal this is the number to call, blah blah blah. I feel like it could help so many people and I just really like that Gail Foreman included that into the end of her book. Alright guys, so that was my review of I Was Here by Gail Foreman. If you've read the book, leave some comments down below. If